Hello guys. Um, I'm just back in the workshop because I am um, trying to calculate what all the different speeds are because I've been doing some spectra uh, graphs of the audio coming from it to try and work out where the uh, where all the different speeds are. And I've got this diagram here, which is an exploded view of the of the gearbox. But unfortunately, it's very difficult to work out when these. For instance, uh, shaft number t uh, uh, which one is it? Shaft number three. This moves up and down. That's the one where I've replaced the bush. That's the bush that I replaced. When shaft number three moves up and down, um, uh, it's very hard to tell which where all the engagements are. So I'm just got a little bit of paper here, and I'm just um, going to write down the engagements the, on uh, here for all the different the gear selector there. So by having them in those different positions, you can see there you can get all of those gears there. I'm hoping you can see down into the gearbox there. So, um, that's interesting because shaft number two. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, sixteen. I worked out all the gears as you saw from the gearbox and done a load of calculations and from that I worked out the two frequencies, shaft RPMs, all the rest of it for each of the each of the gears and the shafts just for five hundred and forty RPM, just because that's what my audio recording is. So let's go and have a look um, on the PC, um, what that all equates to. I just thought I'd show you, I've been using a Spectrum Lab. This is Spectrum Lab here. And um, rather than bore you with all of the finer points of it, I've just done some screen captures. And this is um, the noise. This is my lathe running at 540 RPM, the spindle, spindle speed of 540 RPM. And what I've actually done is um, I've actually, by establishing the mesh of all the gears, I've actually calculated the uh, shaft speeds of of all of the of the all four shafts that are inside the gearbox, and also um, the tooth frequency, which is the shaft speed multiplied by the number of teeth, which gives you the actual frequencies which are generated as the meshing no noise from every single gear that's in mesh within, within a gearbox and this is a fairly characteristic well this isn't characteristic because it looks ridiculous but uh, usually um, what, what what this is actually showing for those of you that don't know what you're looking at here um, this is um, a fast Fourier transform of, of the of the audio and what that means is that this is frequency so that's 200 Hertz 400 Hertz 600 Hertz all the way up to I've, I've only taken it up to 2.4 kilohertz and when this is running, um, this is constantly analysing and it draws um, a, a, what's called a waterfall. So this waterfall is the time domain. So you can see the time there, um, 7 seconds, 6 seconds, 5 seconds. So as the waterfall cascades, uh, you get a second of audio at a time. Now on the right hand side here, you can see this is the, uh, uh, if you like, the oscilloscope view, uh, which um, shows... The um, the intensity of the signal against time, which is um, sort of a typical um, oscilloscope view, and it's very pronounced. The the noise, my noise. This is my noise. These these little spikes here are the noise. And what's incredible about this is that each of these long lines here um, represents. The, the actual mesh of the of the gear wheels themselves and I've calculated um, which which shafts are which now this shaft here um, is shaft I think um, shaft number two and this one here um, is 
shaft number four, which is the spindle. Actually, no, this is the spindle here, and this is shaft number two. Now, the noise itself, which is this, these ticks. In fact, there are seven ticks per second, which um, equates to um, around about um, um, seven ticks per second. Hang on a minute, I've got this calculated. Um, about um, 8 hertz, I think. Hang on a minute, what's it equate to? I'll tell you what. Um, quick calculation here. I've got um, so 7, if it's 7 hertz, 7 ticks per second is 7 hertz, which is 420 RPM. Now, the interesting thing about that, if we go back to our uh, waveform here, um, is that I think what's happening is that these two um, wheel, this is where the, the wheel that has the most amount of wear on it is touching these two shafts. So there's a lot of wheel noise coming from those. And I think what's happening is, this is just a theory, but I think that the two, the noise from those two teeth frequencies is actually beating together. So it's doing a thing which is called heterodyning, whereby the, it's a bit like a way a heterodyne radio works. So it's the difference between the two frequencies. And that's creating this seven hertz bump. And you can see the seven hertz bump and it's reflected right the way, obviously, it's quite quite a, a big um, clunk, and it's getting all in through all the gears because you can see the seven hertz bump. Th these should not be like little strings of pearls. They should be straight lines like this one here. I think that's something to do with the inverter. There's a noise that the sound that comes from the inverter, and I think that's that, or it's something to do with the motor or the uh, bearing in the motor or something. But that's constantly. It hasn't got the knocking on it, probably because that's isolated by the rubber belt, so it doesn't have it on. Although it does have it on a little tiny bit, so, um, but you can see these are really pronounced, really pronounced indeed. In fact, the power. So, in order to just test my theory, I took these two frequencies from here, which are the recorded frequencies, and I put them into the um, audio generator within Spectrum Lab, and and mi and mix them together. And hey presto, I get the same string of pearls. I get a very similar waveform. Okay, that's just two sine waves. So. It's a little bit neater and a little bit more, um, as you can see, it goes sort of bright, dim, bright, dim. That shows the intensity there, uh, which reflects this principally. And you can see that it's absolutely at the same frequency as this line here. So I think that the, a lot of what the problem is here is just general wear throughout the gearbox, especially on those gears which are constantly engaged. And because they're so warm, they're generating a lot of noise. Those noises are mixing together through the gearbox and creating the the difference with, or the heterodyne frequency, which is this 7 hertz, which you can hear. Well, it's 7 hertz when it's running at 540 um, RPM. So theory of the day, heterodyning. Lots of wear all over the gearbox. So I would suggest that I'm probably not going to um, solve this without replacing pretty much all of the gears in the gearbox um, and all the bearings. It's just, I think, an old knackered gearbox and I've got to basically live with it or save my pennies and buy a nice new posh uh, M300 which is in a much better condition and hasn't been around the world four times like this one probably has.